Hello everyone, my name is Lukasz and in today's tutorial I will show you how you can use library objects and how you can create your own library and import your own objects inside of it. First of all, we go to library and as you can see we have five different files. The first one says default. All of the objects inside are created by Oplan and you can use them for furniture, architecture, 2D objects and etc. Let's say we want to use some of the furniture objects in the living room. Here you have a bunch of different objects related to the living room. When you click on them, you can see to the representation of them and the name, let's say armchair case. But if you want to see how it looks like in 3D, you simply change the animation of preview and you can use trigonometric view. Let's say we are happy with this one. So we double left click on the object and then we can import it. So simply place it. Here you can see chair 3D, 2D in elevation and 2D in plan view. And then you can import different objects here. When we go back, we see Office, which is used mainly in practice. Basically, Office creates their own library objects, which is most commonly used in every single project they make. And by using this, they can share the objects within the office. Then we have project. Here are all the elements from your projects. Then you have private and external path. External path works when you want to import something in open from your hard drive. You probably download it from the internet or you have from your friend. Now we will go to private. And as you can see, it's empty. So we can create new group. Let's call it furniture. When you enter inside, you can insert element. I will go in a different drawing file, which is here, furniture design. And here you can see that I have modeled a chair. This is 3D model of a chair, but I want to use this 2D for 2D representation. We go to insert. Let's say right now we will just insert 2D plane drawing. So we say insert symbol. Down here it says select element to save as a symbol file. So we will select a symbol. Then we need to set symbol's base point, which will be, let's say, in the middle. Click on the reference line if you want to have certain distance from the wall, for example, or something like that. And you save it as chair to the living room. Currently you can't see anything on the animation window, uh, not even on the warframe, but when we go to the plan view, we can see that the chair is here. So when we want to import it, just double click, we can select the point from which we will place it. Maybe we can use the one in the middle. And we simply place it. Now, as you can see, when I select something, it's breaking down. It's not like one group, because the object from which I created this element is also broken down. It's not like a group, but you can simply group it by selecting everything, clicking on the arrow down and say element group. And here you just need to set a group name, chair, press enter and then it behaves like a group. Now, the rest of these insert tools are working in a way that you have a model of, let's say, smart symbol, which was a chair I've imported from Allplan library, and you can import it in your own library called furniture. Then you can also insert smart part of the doors, windows, walls, and also Python parts. But all of these are from the objects that are already smart parts, Python parts, or smart symbol. But if you want to create a new smart symbol from 3D and 2D, you need to create a new smart symbol. A new window opens. First thing you need to do is set a name for it. Let's call it Black Living Room Chair Business. Press Enter. Then you have direction where you're going to save it. It's in a private furniture. We are totally happy with that. Now we need to click define new file. 
And as it says, define foil one. So you need to select your 3D object. And then, again, reference point. So we pick a reference point in the middle. When we scroll down, we can see that Smart Symbol Foil 1 has both 2D and 3D representation. But if we come here, we can see that this is the view, how it will appear in the plan. So let's say we don't want this as a 2D view. So right now we have nothing here. Click Define New Foil, select. Again, click the reference point, and this is our group of elements. So let's say group of foils. First one is 3D representation, second one is 2D representation. When you go here, foil 2 in 2D, and foil 1 in 3D. If we are happy, click OK, and now we can see that black living room chair, double click, import, and here we are. Having our chair in 3D, but still having 2D representation which we like. That's it. Thank you for your attention and see you in next video. Bye bye.